can protect an entire nation. On the 4th of July, 2006, North Korea test-fired seven ballistic missiles. Any one of them could threaten the United States of America. Rogue states are now capable of launching devastating long-range missile attacks. We just don't know where the next strike will come from. These long-range missiles could be carrying chemical, biological, and even nuclear warheads. We need protection. It's vital that we can intercept and destroy these missiles long before they reach their intended target. And that's the job of the Missile Defense Agency. Their crack team is working around the clock to perfect the very latest American missile defense system. Lift off. It's called Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, or THAAD. I'm on my way to White Sands, New Mexico, to see it in action. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. I'm also Roger White Sands Police Department. This is a restricted area. I need to see some IDs, please. Absolutely. The vast White Sands testing range covers an area of 5,600 square miles, making it one of the largest sites of its kind in the world. THAAD is an area defense missile capable of protecting a state the size of New Jersey. It's designed to take out an incoming missile by smashing into it, destroying the target by sheer force alone. THAAD is part of a three-layer missile defense network. The first line of defense comes from the Aegis rocket, designed to knock out an incoming ballistic missile in space. If that fails, THAAD intercepts the missile just as it re-enters the atmosphere. The final layer of defense is the short-range Patriot missile. To find out more, I met up with former Patriot program coordinator, Colonel Charles Dreznik, now project manager for THAAD. Patriot's a, a lower tier system. It has to deal with more than just ballistic missiles. It's dealing with cruise missiles, aircraft, UAVs. What we did with THAAD is uh, we concentrated it on ballistic missiles so that Patriot can focus on those lower Tier threats. The Patriot missile proved itself in the first Gulf War by taking out incoming Iraqi Scuds. They're great for protecting specific locations like military bases, but they're strictly a last line of defense. That is designed to intercept ballistic missiles and protect an entire region. I mean, it's serious business. When you're talking about nuclear, chemical, biological threats, and that's why it was deemed necessary to not leave it up to a single system. If it works, THAAD will be able to seek out and destroy up to 10 times further than the Patriot. But a missile is only as good as the launcher that fires it. This is the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense Launcher. The launcher weighs in at an impressive 40 tons. Yet despite its size, it's capable of being moved anywhere in the world by hitching a ride on a C-17 transporter. It can be loaded on and ready to go in under 30 minutes. But the real genius of that is its sophisticated targeting system. A radar that can detect and track multiple targets at mind-boggling distances. Imagine, you're in Washington, D.C., and you see the rotation of a basketball in Miami, Florida. It's the most powerful land mobile sensor system in the world. The second an incoming threat is detected, the information is fed to a control unit that orchestrates a symphony of destruction. Bad missiles do not carry an explosive warhead. Instead, this 18-foot-long, 2,000-pound missile travels at over twice the speed of a bullet and uses the sheer force of collision, known as kinetic energy, to destroy its target. That's why they call it a kinetic kill vehicle. Fire control unit fires a missile. The radar catches that missile while it's flying out. 
communicates all the information about that target to the missile while it's flying so when the missile opens its eyes it sees what the radar has seen and matches up the lethal object with the, the kill vehicle. Thad is pushing weapons technology to the limit. It's been seven years since the last time Thad hit an airborne target, and I'm going to be there, standing right in the path of an incoming missile. Very early tomorrow morning, I get to see Thad in action. Tomorrow, it only gets one chance. The Terminal High Altitude Missile, or THAAD, is supposed to offer protection against incoming missiles. Traveling at speeds over Mach 3, it should be able to destroy targets well over 100 miles away. What we did with THAAD is uh, we concentrated it on ballistic missiles. Its sophisticated launcher and radar system should allow it to strike the target with deadly precision. It's like hitting a bullet with an even faster bullet. So when the missile opens its eyes, it sees what the radar has seen and matches up the lethal object with the, the kill vehicle. Now, that is basically using kinetic force as it intercepts uh, the other missile. Why not use explosives? You could probably shoot a bullet through an airplane in a lot of places and not even hurt it, right? It'd Absolutely. just fly right on. That doesn't happen when you hit it with something that is going so fast and is concentrated, and you hit it where the brains of the airplane are, you're going to take it out every time. So we do the same sort of thing. We do that with a ballistic missiles. You really want to have maximum impact in just the right place to destroy basically the payload in a way that it can never fall to the earth. Yeah, exactly. It's been seven years of relentless effort to get the latest version of THAAD into the air. The team that worked so hard on it have gathered here tonight, and I know they're nervous. The atmosphere is tense as they pray that their efforts literally go up in smoke. It's 3.45 in the morning in the beautiful New Mexico desert. THAAD is ready to launch. They've checked, they've double-checked, they've even triple-checked. But, you never know. The cool morning air provides the best possible environment for collecting crucial flight data. So the test takes place at dawn. What's amazing is it's Thad's job to hunt down a missile that's 200 miles in the air, lock on, and nail it within a couple feet. That is a go. Mark, get this away. deliberately corkscrewing to bleed off a third of its energy so it doesn't speed out of the boundaries of white sands. We're standing basically underneath it now. If it's off just a few degrees, we're actually right underneath it. Within a few seconds now, the booster will release. There it is. Thad is on the hunt. But will it kill its prey? There it is. Thad just nailed it right there. Boom. And it does this all with kinetic energy. It knocks that missile right out of the sky. That's like mad. That right there, that's the vapor trail of the missile that was coming in after us. As a new day dawns over White Sands, the mood is triumphant. This test ushers in a new age of protection from attack by rogue states. Everybody on the team pulling for the same thing, and they all share in the success. What was the most impressive thing you saw? When I look at the, the video, 
and I see the expanding gases that was two missiles approaching each other. That's, that's impressive. When it plays as it did today, you know, how beautiful is that? These uh, countries that are building ballistic missiles, knowing that they are now successful systems hitting the field that are going to make their, their terror weapons obsolete, is going to have an impact on what they do, and that's exactly what we want to happen. There will be hostilities where this system is going to be used and will save lives. High altitude area defense missile system is the epitome of seek and destroy. It uses its sheer mass and speed to deliver the knockout blow to its target just beyond the atmosphere. That, simply put, is out of this world.